Next, I want to introduce some techniques that you can use if your internal thinking isn't so good. So sometimes as human beings, we can get caught with, it's like either a memory or something that we imagine at a picture level that's unhelpful to us. So if I use that interview example, you know, maybe what I've got is a memory of that person who gave me some really negative feedback about a previous interview. Maybe I've got that sort of stuck in my mind. And if you remember when we talked about uh, internal pictures on the communication model, I said it's almost like we look at the world through these things. So it's almost like they're on transparencies and we look at the world through them, but we're not always consciously aware that, that we're there. Or we might be imagining uh, something bad happening. So we might be imagining not being able to answer questions, or maybe we imagine tripping up on our way into the interview or whatever. So one of the things you, that you can do with this is once you locate what sort of image you've got going on the inside, whether it's something remembered or something that you're imagining, is you can play about with the qualities of it. So you don't have to change the content necessarily, but you can play about with the qualities. So to do this, you have to locate the image. So what sort of picture am I running in my head? What sort of thing am I remembering or imagining? And then you imagine that that picture's on a screen. And just notice what happens if you had a TV remote that could affect that picture on the screen. So notice what happens if you were to maybe drain the colour from it. So turn it to a black and white picture. Notice what happens to the feeling when you do that. Notice what happens if you move it further away. Perhaps move that picture, perhaps it's very close. Notice what happens if you put it at the end of the room. Notice what happens if you put it at the end of the street. Notice what happens if you shrink it down. So if you make that picture, you know, maybe it's a very big picture. Notice what happens if you make it really small. So turn it into a postage stamp size. Make it black and white. Put it over on, on the skyline. Notice what happens to the feeling then. So very often, if we're running unhelpful internal pictures, as long as I can locate them and notice what it is that I'm either remembering or imagining, then I can use this technique to change the qualities, shrink it down, make it black and white, move it further away, do anything with it, that sometimes can turn down the feeling of anxiety. So that's number one.